I'm going to show you a simple USB hack whereby you're going to be able to make your USB foot switch to use with uh, many products, including the UI. You may have an old USB keyboard hanging around the house. It might have a couple of faulty keys uh, in it, or you might not need it anymore. They're quite cheap. In any case, they can add maybe $3, $5 you can pick them up for. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is go and take out all the screws from all around the keyboard all right so we're going to take all these screws very very quickly okay and carefully take apart not damaging this keyboard here okay so that's that for the what's surprising is you're going to end up with something like this that's basically what's inside the keyboard it's uh, sitting this way in there nice tight on little some flat uh, cable connectors with plastic little uh, switches on it and this is basically a matrix which means that the keyboard itself has lines this way and that way like a matrix basically if I take a pen and draw it for you here so you have several lines this way and several lines this way and each of these intersecting points is when you press down a key it connects to two wires and there's a scan that goes between these wires all the time in the little chip on the DS on the little chip or USB keyboard chip and each time you press a key it's going to connect these two wires so easily enough you would think that you could take a wire and if you connect a wire to one of these pins and then run the wire to here that's going to trigger a key and you're right that's what's exactly going to happen and you could quite easily experiment by plugging this in grabbing a wire holding it down and plugging it connecting it to other wires here other connections here and that's going to trigger numbers and keys on the keyboard uh, on the screen so you'd be able to trigger different functions that you had before so it's easy enough to then think, okay, I can then take this and connect these wires directly into a few foot switches or other type of switches. You might want to do a mute, a mute all to just um, effects on and off. And you can have several switches then connected. Now be aware that it has to be a momentary switch, not a rocker switch not an on off switch you don't want this kind of switch okay what you want is a momentary switch some guitar pedal switches which i would recommend using are momentary switches and some are rocker you don't want a rocker you want momentary it means when you press this it's on when you let go it's off press on let go it's off many of them have two switches that happen at the same time or one it doesn't really matter you just need one of them so that's the first thing to do now you will see soldering these you won't be able to solder directly onto here because they're all lacquered and that little plastic was on top so you need a little sandpaper and just very gently sand off the lacquer and you can see the shine is starting to come back to the copper that's there okay you can see that now and very gently sand the lacquer off okay now i would recommend using uh, as also a um, what I normally always use for wires is a um, rework flux basically so it's flux which makes soldering a lot easier afterwards so we want to see nice shiny copper here so we can solder onto okay okay now once that's cleaned off I can take a little bit of flux and I can squish it onto the beautiful surface here. A little bit there and a little bit here. And I can then easily grab some solder and thin, um, use a bit of solder paste here and at least tint the uh, actual lines first of all. Um, so it'll be much easier to get wires onto it and you can see how quickly the solder goes onto it so it's quite nice to tin it tin it first and then it'll be very very quick and easy to solder any of your wires onto it um, same same with these okay i would 
always tin them first okay get some flux tin it first as far as that's concerned and it'll be much quicker for you to get things going uh, either by hand or later on not by hand <laughs> if you have someone to solder for you that's even better always nice to have someone else solder things for you okay and if you're happy to damage a table that's okay so if, if i solder the first part here okay you don't want any scraggy cable if you see any scraggy wires come out i mean i normally rather grab that and just cut the tip off it at an angle okay so it's nice and short you don't need it too long you don't want it hanging out around the place and once we do this with two wires you can hook up a switch and that's your foot switch and you can run external usb cables to it to lengthen it as far as you want it to lengthen and that's pretty much the cheapest way to build a foot switch so once we have this happening here okay i'm able to take this wire here and slowly touch and as you can see on the screen as i touch the different buttons uh, the different uh, lines connections here i'm going to get different characters come up on the screen and then you work out you can work out a lot of these chips don't say what they are but the matrix itself is pretty straightforward um, and then you hook it up you can put it in a nice little case if you want to maybe something like this uh, and put a usb b on it and uh, hook it up to your computer or directly to the ui or if you wanted to with a longer cable and you can have multiple switches on a foot switch have fun